all right guys you are welcome to sew with povin you know how i do it here povin never disappoint today this episode is a very exciting one and i'm going to show you how to cut a danshiki or a kimono shirt you know kimono shirts are always cut with their arms together with the main body so that's where the spirit of confusion sets in but don't worry povin is here to guide you through it However, please, if you are new here and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, or if you are a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed, please give me a like on this video. I beg you, give me a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for me. Let's grow together. Thank you. So the measurement, we have the back 17 inches which is divided by two and that will give us eight and a half plus uh, 0 0.5 sewing allowance that give us nine inches and we have the chest that's 44 inches divided by four that give us 11 inches plus one inch sewing allowance that give us 12 we copy the same thing for the stomach because uh, kimono shirt doesn't really come with that much of a shape so we go to the hip as i told you i use hip often the hip is 46 inches divided by four that will give us 11 and a half inches plus one inch sewing allowance that will give us 12 and a half inches now the sleeve length is seven inches all right so as usual we first have to make a straight line at one point of our fabric this straight line is going to serve as the starting point to the length measurement all right so as i said it's better you get the t-square i'm using so it helps it helps with straight lines okay so we are now going to transcribe the length measurement on our fabric so our length is 30 we will add two inches the two inches that we are adding will be food allowance at the base of the shirt so we are going to mark 32 inches So that's 32 inches right there all right so we copy the same measurement to the other side of fabric so that we are able to mark a straight line out of it okay so you connect both points So let's go ahead and partition our neck. Now, uh, you know, Danshikis are always having this big neck. But I mean, I don't like my shirt to have the big neck because I don't like my customer's singlet showing. So I will use three inches for the neck length and I will use two and a half inches for the neck width. So I'll copy the neck length and neck width on both sides. To be able to get a triangle out of it so it is within the triangle that i will draw my my neck curve so that's the triangle i'm doing so please if you don't have a ruler it's very important that you get a ruler because you can be a good fashion designer or a good tailor without these basic tools I always like confirming my measurements. I don't ever want to make a mistake on the final project. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our curve. No, no, that's not okay. Let me make a correction there. This is why I'm talking about tools. I should be using a French curve for this, but because I'm using freehand, look at how I'm messing up already. So the across back of my customer is 17 inches divided into two. That'll give me eight and a half, and I'll add half inch sewing allowance. That's nine inches. After marking this nine inches, I'm going to extend this across back measurement with the sleeve measurement. 
my customer sleeve is 7 inches so 7 plus 9 will give me 16 then I'll add 2 inches allowance making 18 so I'll mark 18 so I'm going to copy this 18 inches measurement for the whole shirt body all right this is not going to be the shirt body measurement I'm just going to make a straight line out of it so that I get a space to do the sleeve and everything so kimono shirt is not uh, the fabric is not folded like a normal shirt where we fold like 12 inches 14 inches no this one is folded like 20 inches big as I said earlier so make a straight line out of it all right so our whole partition or our whole pattern is going to be done within uh, this big triangle area you see okay so now let's go to the partition of the shirt i'm going to partition the chest uh, the chest my usual measurement for the chest is nine inches and then the uh, shoulder slope is one and a half okay now let's go to the stomach the stomach i'm going to use 15 inches so that's 15 inches right there now let's go to the hip i'll use 22 inches for there so let's copy the various measurements so that we can make straight lines out of them okay so going for my ruler join the various points to make a straight line out of them so that's the shoulder loop now let's go to the chest this your idea is where the armhole is supposed to be but there, there, there wouldn't be any armhole so the stomach and the hip good so let's now go and copy our across back measurement on our shoulder slip line don't forget our across back measurement was nine inches all right so it is through this point that we will draw the shoulder slope we will connect the neck to the point with our ruler just like this okay all right nicely done now let's go ahead and transcribe the main body measurement our chest was 44 inches remember so we will divide it by four that's 11 inches and uh, 11 inches and I will add my one inch allowance the allowance you can you can increase it if you want you can even make it two inches just that i i don't like my allowance uh, pulling my shirt shape so now the stomach the stomach is also 44 inches kimono don't really come with that much of a shape so i'll just copy the same chest measurement for the stomach now the hip is 46 inches divided by two that's 11 and a half plus one inch 12 and a half copy the same measurement for the base of the shirt. Now take your ruler and freely join your point to form a shape. Yeah, you can start from the down, the base or from the chest. Okay. Alright. Good. Now we have to pay attention to the sleeve this design is new it's, it's, it's very new different from the normal kimono shirt you've been seeing online so i will just continue the shirt sleeve measurement which is seven inches from the shoulder point and i'll just put my one inch allowance as i've done all right so i'll decrease the chest line about one inch downwards okay then I will use that point to connect the sleeve. So let's go ahead and cut out our front pattern. Please, you are being reminded. Support so empowering by subscribing to my channel and liking my videos when you watch them. All right, so let's fold off our front pattern we will have to lay another fabric on which we will um, cut the back pattern right. so you fold the 
a new fabric as big as the previous one and you lay the front pattern on it so flat you make sure there's no food anywhere and there are no cramps uh, I like you to do any job you know so I always advise you to take your time right. now let's go ahead and trim the base but don't forget to lay your fabric in such that you will get at least two or three inches at the top okay so you can see how I've laid it the down fabric is longer than the the front pattern like three, two or three inches all right so the down has been trimmed now let me go and take my measure uh, my my tape measure and I'll put two and a half inches at the top using the shoulder slope as the starting point right. so that's two and a half inches that I'm showing you the same thing will be done everywhere all right so you mark it throughout so that you are able to draw a straight line out of it so go ahead and draw your slope all right so let me cut it out i i hope you've already realized that fashion is very interesting where you know what you're doing is very very interesting it is something i very much enjoy doing okay so i trim it's downwards a bit now it's time for me to fold the back pattern shoulders over to meet the mouth of the front shoulders I call this simulation I use this scale to cut the back pattern shoulders so that it meets with the front pattern shoulders it makes my shirt to be able to lay down smoothly as I want it to lay All right. So I'm cutting the back uh, pattern also out. Good. So now let me go ahead and um, shape out or uh, make a notch at the back pattern on the shoulders at a place where it will meet the mouth of the front neck. All right. Now go ahead and use the chalk to mark out the notch okay so I will mark one and a half inches as the shirt neck one and a half inches okay you make a straight line out of it then you curve it to meet the notched area uh, before that you can make a straight line out of the notch too so that you get this kind of a triangle within which you make the curve uh, that's the curve i'm making okay so go ahead and cut it out all right so that's our pattern for you you can see it lies so genuinely and so unique all right so it's time for sewing good luck with your sewing now i still remind you if you haven't subscribed to uh, Povin tv yet Povin tv is another channel of mine where i teach african spirituality you can go on there and subscribe to that my channel too as you have subscribed to this one make sure to like my videos too thank you bye